Embarking on the timeless allure of the open road, doesn't have to come with a hefty price tag. As we roll into 2024, the cruiser bike market offers a treasure trove of affordable options for riders who crave the laid-back charm and distinctive style of cruisers. Join us on a journey through the top 10 cheapest cruiser bikes of 2024, where frugality meets the freedom of the highway. Some of these are reliable, trusted models of yesteryear, while there are a few new releases in the mix as well. From Royal Enfield to Honda, we cover a varied mix of offerings especially for you. Let's get started. Number 10, Yamaha V-Star 250. The Yamaha V-Star is not only an entry-level bike, instead it is extremely ergonomically developed, taking into account the needs of even the most demanding riders. The big thing about it is that it is the only V-Twin in this capacity range, and the 249cc engine generates a lot of power and torque for its size. The recognizable V-Twin rumble, which is likely to draw attention wherever you go is an extra bonus. In addition to being the joint most inexpensive cruiser on this list, the bike gets an amazing 78 mpg, making it an excellent bargain for heavy urban traffic. Coupled with the front hydraulic disc brake, a total weight of only 324 pounds, and a seat height of 27 inches, means it offers exceptional handling and maneuverability. Number 9, Honda Rebel 300. The Rebel 300 is Honda's most approachable and affordable cruiser. With a low seat height, comfortable ergonomics, and predictable power delivery, the Rebel 300 is designed to provide new riders with confidence and fun without breaking the bank. The Honda Rebel 300 is your best option if you're looking for a cruiser with Japanese flair but without the extras. As Honda's smallest cruiser motorcycle, the compact Rebel offers an approachable combination of features, performance, and appearance. Its core is a 286cc liquid-cooled engine that generates around 27 horsepower and 18 pounds-feet of torque. Its low, upright, and comfortable seating posture makes it ideal for beginning riders. The best features include a completely digital instrument console, a slipper clutch, and LED lighting. But in our opinion, the likable riding triangle is the real winner. Number 8. CF Moto 450 CLC The Chinese motorcycle manufacturer CF Moto has recently introduced its latest cruiser model named 450 CLC, which is scheduled to enter the market in early 2024. The CLC hits all the right spots in terms of design. A low stance, teardrop tank with knee indents, beefy tires all help the cruiser qualify as a handsome lad and even look slightly American. This is topped by premium touches like the Barrett mirrors, triple-tone livery, and muscular fork sleeves up top. A closer also reveals red stitching on the saddle, alloy wheels, and, wait for it, a belt drive for that authentic cruiser feel. As for features, we can spot an LED headlight, round LED indicators, single-disc brakes at both ends, and dual-channel ABS. The cockpit comprises a fully digital instrument cluster, probably loaded with smartphone connectivity as standard. What also catches our eyes is the almost flat Harley-Davidson fat bob-like handlebar which could enable some spirited riding. The footrests are forward set, however, just like a proper cruiser. Number 7, Honda Rebel 500. The Rebel 500 comes with a 471cc liquid-cooled parallel twin engine with 45 horsepower, the same unit found on the CBR500R and CB500X. With its well-rounded design, the Rebel is a great cruiser for both everyday riding and the odd ripping session. It can provide on both fronts, whether you're going for a leisurely ride on the country roads or a fast race on your twisties. Since Honda intended the Rebel 500 to be an offering just above the entry-level 300, it comes equipped with a lot of contemporary features, such as an all-LED lighting kit, bronze wheels, a digital instrument cluster, and a blacked-out look. Love the Rebel 300, but wish it had a little more power? The Rebel 500 might just be for you. Number 6, Kawasaki Eliminator. 
few people can resist the timeless style of the Eliminator, which is uncannily evocative of Kawasaki power cruisers of the 1980s. You will adore the Eliminator's low center of gravity in terms of comfort, but its 451cc parallel twin engine is what makes it a true steal. While there are bigger capacity options like the Royal Enfield Super Meteor 650 at the same price point, its lightweight makes it a far easier bike to own, which will be a boon for riders seeking more agile choices. Underneath its classic exterior, the Eliminator conceals a capable heart, a robust and torquey engine designed to deliver a smooth and enjoyable cruising experience. Whether navigating city streets or embarking on a highway journey, the Eliminator's performance strikes a harmonious balance between power and efficiency, making it an ideal companion for riders seeking both style and substance. Number 5. Benelli 502C The Benelli 502C, like the majority of its siblings, gets its motivation from the 499cc parallel twin engine, which is a perler, a broad range of power and excellent throttle response. It also has a fruity rumble as well, which adds to the dynamic package. The flexibility of the power plant is evident in the specs. Peak torque, 45 Newton meters, is at 5,000 RPM, and then maximum power, 48 horsepower, at 8,500 RPM. That's a fair chunk of strong, usable power to work with, and the urge off the bottom isn't too bad either, so it's a cruiser that can really be ridden in a lazy fashion. All of the Benelli 502C's bodywork sits on a tubular trellis frame that is completely different than what the Leoncino 500 uses. In fact, the 502C is longer and lower than the Leoncino and even offers a low seat height of 29.5 inches. So getting on and off the motorcycle even for short riders isn't a worry. Number 4. Royal Enfield Super Meteor 650 The new 2024 Royal Enfield Super Meteor 650 slots into the lightly represented midsize cruiser market with a novice-friendly and highly approachable machine, only the Kawasaki Vulcan S is a direct competitor. The British-designed, Indian-built motorcycle is a handsomely finished machine that feels anything but budget, despite its $7,000 price tag. For anyone interested in the cruiser experience but not ready to spend five figures, the Super Meteor 650 is more than a tempting option. With a cruiser-focused tune, the Super Meteor has its own personality. While its name might suggest a fireball throttle response, the power delivery from the 648cc parallel twin SOHC, four-valve power plant is smooth, and the transmission is seamless, making the Super Meteor an easy and relaxing ride. Number 3, Kawasaki Vulcan S. With its tame engine, the Vulcan S is likely one of the most underappreciated bikes in the cruiser world. However, Kawasaki doesn't appear to care because their product continues to sell rather well in the entry-level market. And a big part of the reason for that is the ErgoFit system from Kawasaki. It provides you with the ideal fit independent of your size, making the Vulcan S justifiably the most comfortable, affordable cruiser. The foot pegs, seat, and handlebars can all be influenced by using the ErgoFit to better fit the rider. In addition, you get a dependable 649cc parallel twin mill between your knees, which just makes things sweeter. Number 2. Suzuki Boulevard C50 As you ride your 2024 Suzuki Boulevard C50, be ready to be the center of attention as heads will turn wherever you rumble by. The Boulevard C50 stamps a bold impression on traditional cruiser styling that includes a kicked-out fork, valance style fenders, and a staggered, chromed, dual exhaust system. Its fuel-injected, 50 cubic inches, V-twin engine delivers abundant torque and is engineered for comfort. On city streets or the open highway, its spacious riding position and smooth suspension let you cruise comfortably all day long while its rear suspension delivers the appearance of a classic hardtail. At the heart of the 2024 Boulevard C50 lies a robust 805cc V-twin engine, delivering a perfect balance of power and smooth performance. Whether navigating urban landscapes or embarking on long highway stretches, the C50's engine provides ample torque for a relaxed and enjoyable cruising experience, 
that makes it an ideal choice for both beginners and experienced riders. Number 1. Honda Shadow Phantom The liquid-cooled 745cc 52-degree V-twin, 5-speed gearbox, and shaft final drive are all retained in the 2024 Honda Shadow Phantom, but there are a number of form and function-related stylistic changes. The former drum brake has been replaced with a disc brake at the back, front travel has been extended from 4.6 to 5.1 inches, the height of the seat has been considerably lowered, plus Honda has reduced the curb weight by 6 pounds, to a total of 543 pounds. It is widely regarded as one of the most well-liked cruiser bikes for rookies and fulfills every need for a cruiser. The Shadow Phantom is sleek, straightforward, and fluid, all of which make for a great affordable cruiser. What is your opinion guys? Which of these cruiser motorcycles would you suggest for beginners? Share your comments with us. Thanks for watching and see you the next one.